We really need doctors to put their prescription pads away and to spend time talking to the old folk, getting to understand them, uh, finding what they're on about. Now I've got to tell you, with every passing day I'm more and more interested in aged care. So, <laughs> and the social worker in me said, you know, if you want people to feel better about themselves, ask them about their lives. The whole idea is to bring together uh, local writers from Mildura and people, residents from the Prince's Court Homes, uh, which is an aged care facility in Mildura, to record their stories so that the history isn't lost. They've got so many stories um, and you can see by them uh, being able to tell the stories how much it meant to them to have that, that opportunity. The bottom line's about celebration. And that's what this event's about, you know, it's, um, it's not a book launch, it's a celebration of people's lives. Um, you know, whether anyone goes away with a book or not, neither here nor there. Last week, uh, with this event coming up, uh, it, there were so many smiles um, and also sparkly eyes. They were alive with, with what was happening and with the book being launched. Monash became more involved in the evaluation side of the project. So with um, Dr Tammy Smith, we have been looking at how the residents of the aged care facility have benefited from having this sort of interaction. Ideally, we'd like to not only preserve history, but see whether or not there's anything we can learn from that that will benefit, um, will show any benefit to health outcomes for the residents, for the writers, for anyone involved, and also things that we can learn that we can put into practice or be able to somehow um, use to improve learning or um, support learning for nursing, allied health and medical students at Monash. Preliminary feedback has, from the aged care residents themselves and from the authors has indicated that uh, loneliness is a big issue for residents in aged care facilities and just spending time speaking with them probably does have um, emotional and mental health benefits so I think that we will probably continue to look at rostering our students to the aged care facilities locally in a more regular basis with some emphasis on them interacting with the residents rather than just going in and treating them as patients. I think it's an enormous thing for someone to open the door and say, come into my life, I want to share it with you. And uh, I just think that's um, something that's probably a, a very rare privilege. Students are going to need to be visiting patients in nursing homes or in their um, when they're ageing in place in their own homes, so they're going to have to be aware of some of, of those social and emotional issues rather than just seeing patients in, their, in, a, in a hospital bed in an acute care setting, for example. So we're hoping that this sort of placement will give them an introduction to what their clinical practice might look like down the track.